welcome to my YouTube channel and my show DIY with King Tonto. DIY simply means do it yourself. Well, the whole idea about DIY is so we can have safer products to use on our skin to stay safe and also to save a lot of money. And I'm sure you've enjoyed my DIY so far. And for today's episode, I will be teaching you how to make candles. Yes. You heard me, candles, yes. Um, fragrance, scents are now a thing of the present, like the future. It's, it's, there's something about how your home smells. There's something about how you smell. There's something about how the next person smells. It's just, it's a unique sense that we have and it's just amazing. When you smell something bad, it's horrible. When you smell something good, it's, it's amazing. So today I will be teaching you how to make candles at home. And I'll be using just two ingredients to make that simple. One is your bee wax. And they have two kinds of bee wax. They have the brown bee wax, which is cluttered big and like blocks, like almost like shea butter kind of thing, but thicker and stronger than it. Then we have also the big, the bee wax beads. The small, the tiny, they're white. I really love those kind. I really love those wax a lot. But I found, I tried to looking for them all over, and I couldn't find them. And another ingredient you need is your essential oil. As you would know, essential oil comes into play almost every scene. No, almost all of my DIYs. It's very essential. It's amazing. It's, it just keeps you refreshing. It gives you a sense of freshness and. Uh, I don't know what to say, cleanness, and there's just something suave about an essential oil and the scent and everything that comes with it. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> this is the bee wax, okay? And um, like I told you, it's like shea butter, but it's really, really hard. I wish I could find the, I wish I could find the um, bee wax bead, but I couldn't. And um, yeah, we're stuck with this, so we use that. So you would also need your pan, like you see over there. I have a pan and I have a pot underneath. You you need those two things in the making of your homemade candles. You also need um, what they call this thing, um, cans, containers. Um, there are actually um, candle containers in stores, but these are not actually candle containers, but I really love them. I've done a few candles in them before, and um, I really love how they turn out the shape and everything. But here are some homemade candles I have made already and they are burning and the room actually smells so nice. And this one, I use the bee wax beads, which are white and these are brown. And you also need a mixing bowl. You also need a, a mixing spoon. And because we are dealing with hot wax, which is very, very dangerous, you will need a lot of safety apparatus, which, you, which I have today. I'm not joking with my skin. It takes me so so much money to maintain the skin so here I come with that and um, I would also be needing this my apron I don't want to get any wax on my skin or my body so I'm just gonna be extra extra careful here I put that aside so I got my apron fixed and um, I have my towel and I have like I said this I'm not gonna be joking with hot wax and having my skin burnt no so yes um first things and we also do need this we also do need this um sort of um, tape uh, i'll show you what it, how it's been used in a minute um yeah one very important item for making candles is your wick your wick you really need this then the wick some some of them come with um a base and some of them don't come with a base and um Luckily for you, I'm going to be teaching you the hard method, which doesn't come with a wig, uh, which doesn't come, the wig doesn't come with a base. So yes, good luck to that. <laughs> okay, so first things first, like I told you, this is my wax. First things first, what I did is I had my pan, which is this. Okay, now I'm going close to there. I, I have to, I have to protect myself. Okay, so first things first, I had my boiling pot. I put water inside. And the water was boiling and I have this pan I put this pan on top this pan contains a big cousin you can see this pan contains hot wax it's brown because it's the brown bee wax I, I, I could find okay so I'll put my wax in here real 
real quick. I have to do this real quick so it doesn't starch up on me. Put that by the side and I put my I have um <clears throat> my lemon essential oil. You all know I love lemon. I love tea, lemon grass. Anything lemon, lemon grass, anything tea uh, tea tree, my fave. So I'm just gonna put in one, two, and three. I'm gonna be real fast so that my um, wax don't cake on me, okay? And I'm also gonna be putting one, two, and three. And um, ooh la la, I can, mmm, mmm. Okay, so because this is actually, see, you can see it's actually getting this, I'm just gonna do this right now. So this is already a container and a week I have prepared. After pouring this in and this gets settled in, I will teach you how to put your week in, so. So, so we're just gonna let this sit, and while it sits, I will teach you how to insert your wig. Now, remember I told you your wig actually comes with a little base, and unfortunately, I couldn't find that base, but I'm going to actually teach you a very fantastic method to actually go by, okay? It's the hardest, but I mean, if you learn things the hard way, definitely you learned it the best way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is my wig. I remember this. I told you I was going to come back to it. Now it's time. So I already have some of them cut up like this. Okay. I'll just attach it to the end of my week like this. Like so. Okay. And um, I will also attach it to the base of my can. Like so. Okay. And I tilt it up like that. Okay. So it's, I don't worry, in a minute I'll show you. So it's like that. You see it? You see it? Not the professional way, but I mean DIY. It means you're doing it yourself and you're not professional. Hello. So yes, and after that, as it stands, um, make sure that your wick while pouring in your your wax um, and your mixed um, essential oil, do not let this tilt. So you have to keep it this way. Some people actually do this. That's if you have a very weak. That's if you have a very weak wick. <laughs> that sounded really nice. Well, yeah, there are weak wick. There are wicks that don't erect like this. They're just only ropes. And why you have to do it is probably just, you know, put it on something like this to hold it down. That's another method. But this, I'm using a very strong wick, so I don't have a problem with that. Yes, so we'll come back to, woo, fantastic. What have you seen? Our candle is actually setting, okay? So now I notice that my candle it's it's way smaller than the whole bowl. The bowl is really big and the candle is small, and my wick is coming out. So what do I do? I just give this a good trim, and voila, you have your homemade candle. Well, it's going to look really pretty and prettier when you have your wax bee beads, which are white. It's going to look definitely prettier and most people actually put a lot of herbs in this I don't have herbs to show you how to put it but basically how you put your herbs are after this first layer first layer after this first layer okay so assuming I had my assuming I had my spices uh, spices yes I just sprinkle it on it and let it settle in let it solidify yeah let it solidify and before I put another layer of um, bee wax on it. I just keep putting my spices all in it just like that until I build it up to a full container So that's how you put your spices in your candles, but for this this is just really Simple DIY candles with essential oil and that's all Thank you very much for watching DIY with King Tonto I hope you really did enjoy this episode because I did and I'm gonna take all these candles and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sleep like a baby because it has this aromatic smell that just puts you to sleep did I even tell you that lemon puts me to sleep I don't know about you but it does put me to sleep so yes thank you like I said thank you so much for watching DIY with King Tonto tell your friends to tell a friend to tell a friend that there is a show called DIY with King Tonto and you can learn everything that you buy in the store and like i told you this is one of my creation and i'm super proud of it i'm super proud of everything i do and well 
it smells amazing these are coconuts i use coconut um essential oil to do them so yes thank you thank you don't forget to subscribe on my channel and remember to tell a friend to do so thank you